Okay, so I think most of you know who I am by now. Um, yes, my dining room is an absolute bomb site. Yes, it's full of May Gay stuff. I get that. Um, but I've a bit enough more than I can chew. So I just dropped Doctor Who off. That's gone. Um, and it's going to be replaced by this that's been sat chilling in Retro Slots Blackpool for, I don't know, I reckon getting on towards a year. Um, and it's got issues. I mean, we can see that one, two, them, those two reels dropped out before we even got it out of Retro Slots. And big shout out to Jason who lifted it out for me. Um, and then, yeah, that's come loose in transit. Anyway, that they're, they're just minor issues. So, what have I got inside here? So inside the machine, a bit dark, it is getting sort of dusk time uh, on a Monday. Right, so we have the reels that used to live up there, okay, that's not a major issue. We've got the nucleus of a fruit machine, but there's a big reason why this hasn't been on for 12 months. Um, it's got an, an issue with its lamp loom, so it has got a major issue. Now, if we delve a little bit deeper... Uh, I've got to be a bit careful here to delve a bit deeper. Let's just take those out. And that's still attached. Uh, let's just disconnect reel two. We have a main board. Now, up to yesterday afternoon, this was actually in Coronation Street in Retro Slots Blackpool. Uh, that's gone down. Okay, so we swap this out for another board that I did over the phone, and that one's in there and working, you will see on a video, albeit a really strange minor fault, I don't know what's causing that. Anyway, regardless of that, it's running. So we've got main board there, we've got a power supply in there, which we can see that there's a JH tick on it, 2024, so I fixed that this year. Um, we've got a game card. Great. So we've got all of it, so we've got the nucleus of the fruit machine. Um, but the reason this hasn't been on is due to an electrical fault. So it's lamp related, we believe. Um, and what happened is I went over there a month ago maybe to take some Mega boards back. And I very carefully put it into this machine. And when I put it into this machine, it instantly broke the board. Like instantly. Within two, five seconds maybe, I don't know. Not, not even that. And uh, then Ginger turned around to me in typical Ginge fashion and said to me, yeah, gee, this might have a lamp fault. Do you mean it might have a fucking lamp fault? Like you've just let me put a board in that I've just fully repaired into a machine and I've instantly lost that again, which is very, very frustrating. That bag, by the way, and that bag is going to um, Retropolis in the South End. With some mugs in. Anyway, um, we are digressing. So that's the situation. So what happens is one of the lamp looms, or one of the one of the lamp feeds that comes off here, burns ridiculously bright and it just basically blows up perfectly good boards straight away. So I thought it might be a nice idea if we did a bit of a James Hardy repair on it and you got to see it because. It won't just be James Hardy, it'll be James Hardy and Magic, because Magic is the guru of these things, and uh, I need constant support on them. But I want to get this working, I want to get this back into there, so that people can win the £8 token jackpot, and then they can buy one of my mugs. That's the idea anyway, isn't it? Right, so I'll bring you back when I do some work on it. The bomb side doesn't get any less, so first thing I'm going to do, that power supply into that just to confirm i mean it worked not long ago so just to confirm that's all good and there's nothing untoward going because it was one of the potential suspects so yeah number one's just to confirm that's definitely going to boot this machine and there's nothing untoward happening so that's it at the moment with my stuff obviously fully working so here you go we've got a fully working test rig and that is basically all this gets used as at the moment unfortunately is a test rig um I want to do some vids on it at some point, just never quite get around to doing it. Anyway, we're not, we're not, that's working. So, next job's to fire that in there and see what happens. Okay, see what happens. So, we'll just stay close to it just in case anything starts burning dead bright or anything. 
Okay, I'm going to say that's okay. I'm just going to pop around just to check that it looks all good to me. Yeah, there you go. So that's power supply. Happily booting that, which I suspected it would do. So we haven't got any major issue. I haven't got any room in here. I've also got my fishing gear in there at the moment. Loads of boards down there, loads of parts. Yeah, welcome to my world. Right, so we know that's all good. So that, that's the basis for number one. Just to make sure that the power supply was definitely good. There's definitely no issue with it. Which I knew there wasn't going to be. Hence why I just put it in. Because I knew I'd done it fairly recently. And there should be no reason for it to be an issue. But as you can see. Machine's fully booted. Fully working. And uh, yeah. We can cross that off of the little list. Look. Which is good. Change 24. That one just says Club Corrie on it. That one over there just says yeah, she's good. Anyway, right, so, all good. The cabinet, all I've done is put bits back together again. Um, I've done nothing other than that, to be honest with you. I've just literally rebuilt it. Teddy's here keeping an eye on me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's literally all I've done. Um, I've done that now else. And my first job, really, I've, I've sort of semi-started tidying up as well. So my first sort of job here is to find out what's gone wrong with that board. I have a fair idea. Um, I believe, I think it's a, probably a stuck switch that's causing it. So, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit more of a tidy up up here. Um, remnants of Mege boards and various other shite. But, um, yeah, bas basically, I'm going to have a look at this if I can get this fixed. Of course, when I do fix that, I can test it out there, which is the general idea. So I can go out to my little arcade outside and test it out there. Um, at some point, I'll have the dining room again. I mean, it's four years in the making. I do tidy it up from time to time and get rid of everything. But, yeah, I mean, it's this is the bit you don't get to see and I don't show you. It's just how much shit I end up fixing or trying to fix, how many knackered boards I try to fix. So, yeah, anyway, a um, bit of a tidy up, get on the table and try and figure out what the fault is. I think I know the fault, but we'll see. I diagnosed this over the phone to Ginger, and I said to him, what I thought might be the problem with this, is that I don't know who's put stuff all over this, by the way. There's like little ticks everywhere, and I mean, the owner of this might well be able to, may, may come forward and tell me, or the person that did it all. Anyway, right, so, there's a little arrow here. See a little arrow there? Oh, there it is. Right, so this area here, I think is your, there, uh, is your switch selects. Now, that one, as you can see, has been changed. Now, I suspect when you don't have a start button, that one of those is, transistors is probably jammed on. The reason that I would assume this is we have had this sort of fault in the past. Now, when we've had this fault in the past, um, symptom of this is it's not taking coins, and it's not got a start button, so we can't get it into test. Now, it isn't always this, but generally speaking, one of those lines is jammed on. And, and the reason nothing else is working is because it's like you're effectively holding down a button permanently on it. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if I can actually show you that's the problem. Let's see if we can do it like some chopsticks. I might need me other meter, really, but... Uh, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. I am struggling. I can get one on and not the other, but that. Hold on, let's just see if we can hold it there. You need a pod for it. So this is reading over. Li Sorry, I managed to uh, actually managed to turn it off. There you go. So now we can see that's short. Anyway, so plan of action. What we'll do, get that thing fired up, which is now fired up, and we will change out transistors. Then what I'll do is I'll fire this into the machine. In fact, I'll, I'll boot it on the table to show it booting on the table. Do I? Nah, sod it. I'm, just, I'm confident it's this. I'll, I'll put it into the machine, and we'll see if we, I'll fix this board without too much drama. Because I know the machine itself is going to be a bleeding headache, but if we can go working main board, working power supply... On the first night, by the time we get to the end of it, hopefully it won't be a complete nightmare. And I have got 
In fact, I've got it on the table, so we might just put it on the table. Anyway, I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've, had, I've taken that out. I'm just going to... It's very hard to show you how to do it without having a tripod or something to actually put the camera on to show you. But effectively, what you do is you, you heat the leg, and then I use one of them, which is a solder sucker. And basically, what you do is once you heat the leg, you put it over it, you fire it, and when you fire it, it just sucks the solder out into it. And then that, that, that basically removes the solder and it gets the leg out nice and easy. Now, that's so that's still reading short now out so i know it's definitely faulty which is uh, probably good news and then i shall get another one put a new one in there but i'm going to check all the others as well and like i said a couple of the others were reading a little bit suspect at least one of them was uh, and then we will throw trivial pursuit onto the table just to show that we're at work we have got a working state before we start looking at putting in the machine okay 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 so one two three faulty transistors all confirmed in continuity on the table. Um, so basically, uh, they've all, all three of them had shorted out and I was expecting to see potentially one, but that's three of them. So they're all confirmed bad. Everything else is reading normal. So I'll go ahead now and swap the a new three in then and we'll have a look at it, see what it's doing on the table. Right, so we've changed them all. I'm just going to now re-meter them just to make sure that they're all reading the same still and then we will then we'll go from there um, yeah that's it that's where that's kind of hope, hopefully they're all still reading the same and uh, we can assume that part's at least fixed if there's other faults we'll come to them in time right, so you're watching live with me so I'm going to put on a card that card's got test ROM on it so pop that onto there and what this is to test that the core system works now i don't fully understand this i'm not magic um i'm just me and i'm 80 percent self-taught like well, 80 percent yeah no i don't know maybe less than that maybe more 50 50 with what magic's taught me over the last god four years anyway right so flip the switch on this so in theory there we go that tells us the test ROM is working and it so the core system is working. That doesn't test for from from memory. I'm sure Magic will correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't test lamps. It doesn't test coins. It doesn't test meters. It doesn't test anything. Stepper motors. All this is literally testing is that the core system runs. We can see that the core system runs. We can see that the power supply, which we know works, is running right. I'll show you a game card. Give me a sec. So I'm going to have to make an assumption that this works. This is a true shoot one, okay? So what we will see now, hopefully, there you go. It's a relay. That's pretty much all you'll get. So the relay's flicked, and that's as, there you go. That, that's as far as we can get it without putting it into a machine but we know it's booting a game i hope that kind of explains things uh, magic built me this test rom by the way so that one's running on um on a larger it's like it's basically doubled what the test rom actually needs a 512 to run and this is a a, a bigger um rom chip Right, Wonder Blow one, I think. So right, so basically, what he did is he he duplicated the code, so it's on there twice. That that I think is again correct. So that's my test card, but there you go. So we know this machine is essentially booting as far as that. Now, what we assumed when we got it is that that was the the issue that it wasn't taking coins, and we didn't we couldn't get it into test. So what we need to do next. Is throw this outside into the machine. We'll leave this power supply inside because we don't need it anymore. Um, but that's where we're at, and hopefully, that's as far as we are. I've just literally thrown everything back in where it can go, and then hopefully, if we can confirm everything works, we can be in a position where we can start to figure out what the fault in this cabinet actually is because we know one exists. You're watching what I'm watching. So, 
getting dark out now. That's my board. This is the board that we're looking at that was in Corrie. So what we're going to do, I'm going to ping this on. Hope a little boot. Looks like it's trying. That's a RAM reset, don't worry about that. Okay, so we're we're on. We are living. Uh, need to wiggle a, a plug a little bit because a couple of lamps not on. There we go. There's a there's a slightly loose connection. James just fannying about. Some part I will just play. Oh, yeah. Some part I'll take it out. Right. So I don't know if it works yet. I know it, it boots, which is fantastic news. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the test button in. Well, that looks promising, doesn't it? So, bearing in mind, we know it didn't have test that round it at the moment. And it definitely has got test. Coin input is there. Let's see if we've got, and it's a refill key on there. Okie dokie. I haven't got any quids. I will be right back. We're back with power coin. So. What we really need to do now is I need to throw a quid in and it's registered one pound. Good news, it's registering quids. Good, next job, I'm going to take it out of test. So all I will do, oh, I'm trying to fit around here, except, except there's going to be a few dark spots. Uh, what I'll do is I will just cover over that switch there uh, there we go, and then that'll make a boot in real mode. So the back door's open, but it thinks it's shut. Now some of them had little cherries you could pull the cherry out. Anyway, so let's go back round again. Passed over. I can barely get in here at the moment, to be fair. So, so you're not going to get a all singing, all dancing. <coughs> So the good news, no quidding. That's what I get a hold. Do you fancy holding? Right, that these buttons are. No, you're just going to keep me waiting, are you? Thanks. I mean, tell most of my work here anyway, because I've used them on nudges. Honestly, it does hold sometimes. There we go. Could have done that in test, but more fun when I'm playing. Right, so we're going to go with... Oh, that bod works, we fixed it. Happy days, great news. Right, okay, so back to the machine. So, I can't find the conversation I had with Ginge where I told him what transistor had blown. Okay, so magic suggested, really intelligent suggestion as well. To have a look, find out if any of these had gone brown teddies here with me, by the way. Or black. They'd have been getting really, really hot. And there is no obvious visual signs. So, they're my three lamp plugs. Okay, so that, that those plugs are lamp plugs. The next job for me, I feel, is to visually inspect inside the cabinet... And see if we can get lucky now one thing i did find is that these just hanging loose inside it i mean that's not overly intelligent they're bare wire they need they need isolating um now i'd look on some of the other plugs to see if i can see anything obvious can't see anything obvious um so i'm at a world where i don't really know what what is where to start looking and obviously there's going to be a start point there's going to be an end point and there's going to be you would like to think something relatively obvious and what i really want to avoid doing is putting power through a board and wrecking another one or risk it wrecking another one so 
um, yeah, just a at the moment, it's visual inspection, just try and see if anything's shorted to anything metal. Um, gonna have a look at the button panel as well. Um, so I'm gonna have all this out as well. There's a reason I'm put tray down there is to get these out. If anybody doesn't know how to take them out, by the way, they just literally sit on clips. And then all you do with them is you remove them. And when you remove them, if you just keep them in the same order, you won't mess up the order they're meant to be. Because uh, it's very easy to mess up a reel. Now on this one, the Trivial Pursuit, your middle, um, your middle one has got a Trivial Pursuit symbol on it. However, yeah, so in here potentially, which we, we obviously can't entirely see, somewhere potentially we've got a short, um, as a magic has suggested, potentially button panel. Um, it's just going to be a case of looking for the time being and seeing if there's anything obvious. Um, and if there's nothing obvious, then we've got more issues because we've got, well, potential fault science sat somewhere in here. And we need to find it before I start putting boards through it. Um, at some point, I'll get the multimeter on it and uh, I'll start multimetering connections to see if I can find something that's shorting. <sighs> We know it's a cab fault, that's as much as we know at this point. The next problem is we need to find it. Okay, so the only good news that I've got is that I fixed the board that I put back into this. So I then, I probably haven't shared this, but what ended up happening was I took two boards that I'd repaired and one board's over to retro slots. And I very carefully put it into this machine. I may have gone through this anyway. Call long story short, within the chats of that, um, which I thought I'd, I'd had a conversation with Ginger about it, where I'd told him what transistor had blown up. Hence a starting point, if you like. So my idea is, is that if I can isolate which pin it comes off, off with the leave of the long plug, which is that bad boy there, if we can isolate the pin off that, We've got, we know where the short might be, or we've got a chance. So that's, so that's kind of now next job would be to throw the board in, um, or at least to trace where Q14's going to on there. And then I've got an idea, I've got a starting point, and then it should be just a case of trying to locate what's short. I, you know, that's that's the plan. It's a, it's a plan. It's a plan. It's not necessarily the plan. It's definitely a plan. And then once we've got a starting point, if we can't find it from there, we just have to explore other avenues, I guess. But I'm hopeful. Right, so in theory, one, two, three, four, Q14. So what I need to do now is find out where Q14 buzzes on there. So which pin. So what, what I'm going to do, I can't show you here because I'm not that talented, but I'm going to buzz from there into there find out which pin it is and then I'm going to cross reference that pin against my plug and then I'm going to find out where that's buzzing to on the plug that's that's my next job so the gift that keeps on giving right so I mean that for starters isn't even attached um I mean it's just visual stuff that I'm finding I have got a plug in there at the moment to try and figure it uh, this is the coin mech you've seen these these are meant to be all the way in I don't know if you can see that very clearly Teddy's having a park at me uh, but they actually just come out completely uh, I obviously need to do something with them leads <laughs> it's a gift that keeps giving it really is uh, last video of the night so that's come out of there. Um, it was halfway jammed down. It wasn't in, so I'm just putting on. I'm just putting on the looms as I go at the moment, just to before I start checking for shorts and see if I can find a short. I'm just fixing all the loom issues to give this a chance. Um, and that one's jammed out. So I mean, I've got a fairly novel way of fixing these. Um, I'd use another one out of an old loom and I just poke it through and uh, then just join it further up that works for me I know some people do really fancy things I'm not that fancy but I'll I'll make it work and make it safe um, to the best of my abilities I guess yeah so it is a gift that keeps on giving there's clear issues and I'm, I'm gonna just gonna work through them I'll pick this back up again tomorrow So 
what have I done? So this is now like the second day. So at the moment, where I'm at, is I've got all of the looms in that I think I can get in. Well, I can get in. I'm not saying safely or otherwise at the moment, but I've got the looms in, right? So I don't know if anyone's ever done a, done a loom. Well, let me get a loom. Hold on, give me a sec. I don't, um, I'll show you that fairly close up. So basically all it is is a clip and then there's a little tiny pin that sticks out, stop it retracting. Now on this loom, for example, which is the same loom as I had in my hand, um, about four or five of these were retracting, they weren't even making contact. So I've pulled them out and then all you tend to do is you get a Stanley knife and you just pull the little tab back up and then you sort of pull the clip back open. Now what tends to happen is these snap um, inside and you can't actually see that they've snapped. So the, from the face of it, when you look at the plug, they actually look fine. Oh, let's just take this off, I'll try and show you. So you take that plug off and you look up the plug, they'll all look okay, but it's actually some of them potentially have snapped. Um, and you can't see it and then they don't, they don't make contact and that, that becomes another issue to look out for is look out for the metal retracting out of here as well um, so I've replaced that one which is now making contact which had completely given way um, in, the, in the machine it was just doing fuck all uh, and I've got louvers in and all of the pins are all in I'm comfortable that's okay um, and that's that's kind of where I'm up to at the moment so uh, my clubber for example uses a spare stepper motor because it has five reels it's only got four uh, and, and we don't quite know where the short is at the moment um, because we've not really got as far as trying to find it however what we'll say to you is magic thinks maybe it's going to be um, the bottom panel because that does get near to metal and it, it could be potentially around the bottom panel that's causing it or it could be something in the actual loom something that's got trapped maybe it's, we know it's something in the cab and that's kind of where we're at as much as we actually know at the moment um, so yeah there is like metal and what tends to happen or can happen as well is they can get trapped in the door as you shut the door so that also can potentially be where the shorts appeared. I mean, like that, for example, and that's all on metal. Um, yeah, that, so that's really the update. That's where I'm up to at the moment. Right, okay, so pods in the machine, and we've got nothing connected. So turn that on, hopefully. boots right okay so i know it boots as far as there and i don't know the quick way to do this um whether to just connect a plug at a time and see if it stops it booting or see if it gets all the way as far as the lamps which i'm currently not prepared to touch and the reason i'm not prepared to touch the lamps is because that's where it all went peak tongue when it was in retro slots um there is an order an actual boot order for these um, and I will check back with magic on which way round, but I think it's probably going to be meters and switch matrix. I haven't bothered checking, uh, but I was pretty sure meters was the first check and then switch matrix was the second. I think real index might be the third. Um, at the moment, it's booting as far as here, so I think real index will be third, and I think stepper motors have been axed after that. So, let's see what happens. So, so far so good. Now, I would assume the next plug is going to be stepper motors. I, mean, I know it can boot without an alpha, um, 100%, because I've booted one without an alpha in my garden many times so let's see what happens now let's 
So to that point, we're working. So now I've got pretty much every plug on with the exception of CoinMec. I've even got CoinMec in it. And then the Alpha display. So I'll have a look at the Alpha display next. Okay, so Alpha's connected now. Mm. No boot. And all we've done is connect the Alpha. Take the Alpha back off. And then just check we are getting a boot still. And yeah, there's the reels going. Okay, so potentially we've got an issue. It could be the issue, it could be a issue, but now time to consult with Magico. Has said take the green out. We know now we know the green is the reset, so he said take that out and see if we get a boot. So you're watching it live with me before he gets to watch it. And the answer is no. I don't know if that's how you'd want to play it in retro slots. Uh, but that's on. We've got no lamps connected at the moment, as you can see. Um and we now know we've got a bad alpha. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I am waiting for my boss to get back to me and tell me what to do next. I, like the dickhead I am, really, really want to just flick a lamp loom onto it. Now it's turned on to see if there's a fault or not. That, that's what I want to do. But I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to wait for him because I don't want to create myself a load more work unnecessarily. And by work, I mean I could potentially blow a board up. I don't want to do that. Voice of Reason has sent me. Go and get an alpha. All right, I'm going get an alpha. So I need to take that bugger out of there because we need that one to see if my alpha boots it. I only have one alpha and it's there. Anyway, we shall be back. I don't recommend this as a solution. Um, Trivial Pursuit now has got an alpha display which is good, right? So we now know it works. We now know you, baby, are bad. So we know that's knackered. Um, last time I tried to rip one apart for fake fix it, I put a big gash in my hand, so I won't be doing that. But there we go. We know 100% that the alpha display in Trivial Pursuit has gone. Okay, so I've, re I've removed my alpha because it's not doing anything beneficial being where it is so but there's no alpha in it now but we can prove it's on because we've got a light on there look right so um i've put on this plug which is i know that to be the pre-drives um that's that's on um and that's essentially where we are at, at the moment so the moment of truth um what we're going to do is we're going to push on this plug okay just lightly machine's turned on Okay, so we we'll have a little look around here because we don't know if it's the alpha that's caused it. We don't know what's really the cause. Um, so it's only lightly on the plug. It's not fully on, but nothing appears to be stuck. It's not causing it to reboot. This is why not everything's going to light up for me at the moment because I've only got it lightly pushed on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the plug fully on so i'm going to come off camera a second and then we're just going to see what's going on okay okay so we've now got the bottom lamp loom on now this will use a little bit of a top so some of it is because there's an awful lot of lamps on this game uh, but there we go we have got the bottom loom on and we have got no untoward issues so it could have been Something in the alpha, it could have been some of them loose, um, the loose pins, the ones that weren't in properly, the one one that wasn't in at all, um, or it could still be something up there. We actually don't know at the moment. So the next protocol is going to be back to the drawing board, see if we've got anything on the top. So progress report. So we've got our lamps on. We have got a couple of bulbs that are dead, like that's dead. They're dead. Um, 
I don't think I've got enough 10 mil wedges to be able to rebulb this either. But that's the least of the problems we've got right now. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just coughing. Right, okay, so last time this was on, lamps burned really bright and it blew up a board instantly. And now we've got all the lamps on, so but there's some progress. Now, what we've got to look at now, it's a couple of things to look at. Come around the back. So, CC, so the coin mechs in, coin mechs on, so there's no issue there. Um, the only things we've not currently got connected at the moment, uh, we've no alpha. And I may pop mine in in a bit um, just, to, just to loan it, but not permanently, obviously. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we haven't got that in, we haven't got pay slides in. Um, they're going through a relay at the moment, and you can bypass that completely and not use it. Um, I've done that to my quarry outside, so you don't. This, this doesn't actually need to be connected at all, um, and you can just literally link them together. So I'm probably, if I can find enough pins to do it, I'm probably going to do that as well, and just go to bypass because it doesn't don't need to be there. It's pointless. Uh, so that sort of yeah next job really I think is to get the pay tray in it I'll probably just put it in as is for now um, and test it we're getting pay out test everything else is doing its job and then we may be lucky enough to get to play test it in a bit might not be tonight might be but we'll see test number one he says there you go We've won. Oh, we're winning. We're winning. Are we up some twenty p's. Yeah, we're up, we're up some twenty p's. Wow, an arcade has twenty p's in it. Only sixty. Not, not to write home about. You can call this my fee, Callum. Right, so. So ones, pounds, 20 P's and tokens. We've no alpha to tell us which is which. Um, should be able to figure it out when we put some money in it. Right, so we know payout works as well. So, essentially, have we got a working machine here? Minus um, an alpha display. It looks like it. First, I've just put 60 P in, which we had on top. I wonder if my reels are in the right way around. That I don't know. Maybe one and three are mixed up. It's entirely possible. They're all hanging down inside the machine. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna suggest that might be the case. Right. Progress. Boss says the favourite thing: play test it. Now, obviously, we don't have an alpha in it. I've swapped reels one and three over, by the way. But they were marked. Probably need to collect a win at some point, don't we? Give me a win. Yeah, I'll take a big 20p. Mm, it's not paid out in the big 20p, but it tried. So it works. No alpha. We're nearly there. Goki, so we've borrowed my alpha for a minute. My alpha's been borrowed a minute. Well, until this machine leaves here, I guess. Anyway, so 
we have got a fully fun bit bear in mind this machine has not been functional fully functional ever in retro slots blackpool and i've had it here for two days and for the first time in its life well in its life since it got to retro slots it actually does its job it works it is a fruit machine and I, I honestly done most of that myself. I've consulted Magic a few times. I always consult him a few times. Um, but yeah, most of this is me without him, really, to be honest with you. Um, massive testament to how, how hard he works to teach me stuff. And the fact that some of that information does occasionally stick in my head. But, true of true, we'll be going to Retro Slots Blackpool on £8 token. Probably need to do some of that decal um, in the very near future.